If you want to know in this tutorial how to make a present collecting system for simulators or anything for your game, make sure to watch this video all of the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this banger video. In this tutorial I want to be making a Christmas special video. Um, because it's almost Christmas, or if you're watching this, it is Christmas. So first of all, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas to you from Sansa or something. Well, anyways, Merry Christmas. And um, in this tutorial, I want to making a Sansa. So um, you walk up to Sansa. He's gonna say, "My presents are lost. Can you find them?" Um, then you can buy. Then you get money for collecting the presents, and you can buy a bit better walk speed. So first of all, you want to get a Sansa, and I like this Sansa. Never mind, I don't. This one. Any virus? Yep. Mm. You want to name him Sansa if you want. I'm going to do that. And then you have this dude. You want to make a cylinder. You want to make it like rotating ish. I'm going to make it like. Like that. And then I'm going to put it like a right over here. I'm going to make it red. I'm going to make it neon. Anchored on. Can't collide off. Plastic. Neon. Cool. So, once you did that, you can name this one the touch part. And then you want to insert a script only. Only a script. Zoom in a little bit. There. Um, there. Um, script dot parent dot touched colon connect function player. This is what you want to type first, and it should be an automatic end. If it if it's not there, retype your line or reopen studio. Then, um, if player, uh, no hit. If hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid. Then so if it's a humanoid local player. Equals to hit dot parent, uh, nope, game dot players dot player colon get player from character, hit dot parent, like that. I'm gonna get this away because we don't need that, so you can actually read. Well, anyways, and then you want to do game dot replicated storage dot activated colon fire client player. Then go into replicated storage, add in a remote event, right click it, rename, activate it. That's first thing done. Then you want to go into starter GUI, and it's sort of a screen GUI, and you know, name it the main label. And then you want to make a uh, local script and a text label. And it's going to be a uh, text label. Inside of the local script, you want to type game that replicated storage. Dot activated dot on client event colon connect to a function of nothing. Then script dot parent dot text label that visible is equal to true. Wait three seconds. Script dot parent dot text label dot visible equals to false. And that is it. You want to close both scripts. Then you want to go into your text label, size 1, 0, 1, 0, boom. Then, background transparency, 1. And you may notice like, oh no, it's completely gone. No, it's not. The label is over there. You can do rich text and text scale, but it's going to be so big. Rich text off. I'm going to do Gotham Black. Oh no, my presents are lost. If you find them... I will give you money for each of the presents. Just like that. Then, text color. I'm going to make it blue because I like that. Mm, this kind of blue. Oh, this one's good. And then, visible, off. And this is your main thing done. We're, of course, going to be testing this out because we got to test this out, of course. Um. So, if we step on this... Oh no, my presents are lost. If you find them, I will give you money for each presence. 
and I notice a little bug. Over here, you want to type local debounce equals equals uh, local debounce equals to true. If debounce equals equals to true, then and over here, want to press tab and tab. Then over here, want to type end. Then debounce equals to false. Wait five. Debounce equals to true, and I'm gonna make it seven because over here, I want to make it a bit. Like five. Oh crap. Um, five. And we're gonna test this out again. So we step on it. Oh no, it's my presents are lost. If you find them, I will give you money for each of the presents. We walk away. It goes away. We stand on it again, and we can stand on it again. So now we want to do the main thing. So now, what you want to do is go into the toolbox. Um, present. No virus. Nope, no virus. This one is completely safe. I'm going to name it a present. Mm, and over here, um, mm, yeah, I, we can do that. You want to make a new remote event, Control D. You want to name it the Spawn Presence one. Over here, you want to type Game that replicated storage the Spawn Presence colon Fire Client Player. I'm going to your local script. Game that replicated storage dot spawn presence dot on client event uh, call on connect to the function of nothing. Let me keep it empty. Enter uh, game that replicated storage dot spawn presence return call on fire server. I'm gonna go over here and just put return in the new one. So these are your main thingies. Anyways, um, over here now we can go into server script service. You want to copy the present and you want to put it in server storage. You want to make a new script in server script service. You want to type game the replicated storage dot spawn presence return. Uh, dot on on server event colon connect function nothing then game uh, well local present is equals to game dot server storage dot present presence well colon clone presence uh, dot parent is equals to Mm, workspace just like that and we're gonna get three presents so you want to copy this again and one more time you want to do presents one presents one present two present two like that now once you get your present you want to drag it into workspace because we're not done you want to make a new part not a cylinder but a block Just like that, and you wanna like make it a bit covered, and then boom, and that is pretty easy. Um, we're gonna put that in the present. I'm gonna name it the touch parts again. And you wanna make it anchored on, can collide off. And you want to make transparency 1. And you want to type, you want to make a script. And then script.parent.touched, colon connect, function, hit. If hit.parent, colon find first child. Humanoid. So if the player has a humanoid, which is always the case, then game.replicated storage dot found present 
colon fire client hit the parent like that um no we cannot do that hit player and i messed up yep over here at the end when a local player equals game that players colon get player from character hit dot parent so this is like the game will know there is a character but the character is hit dot parent so like hit dot parent once you've done that um you want to type well you want to go into replicated search duplicate event found present go into your local script copy it again boom found present return again replicated storage dot found present and then found present return I'm gonna do a player and player then over here game uh well no you know yeah no 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 this is the um present spawner i'm gonna make a new one leader stats double click remove everything or you can do like control a control x or control delete or something anyways game that replicated not not right game that players that player added colon connect function player player the well no Local ls, ls, not one s, but ls, is equals to instance dot new folder into the player. Then ls dot name is equals to leader stats. Then local money equals to instance dot new number value, and we're gonna put that into leader stats. Money dot value equals to zero money.name equals to money so let's test that out for now close every single thing present in server storage um oh no we did something wrong you wanna one two three you wanna put that right over here one present goes um we're gonna make him at the spawn a bit like that Mm, and then, um, what you can do is present one, present two, present three. Go and um, put these three in server storage. I'm gonna go into your present spawner. Present one, present one, present two, present two, present three, present three. I'm gonna make it present and not presence like that then you can do present one present one present two present three and that's it then play here if we step on this oh no my per oh crap oh what happened? I f <laughs> um, that is not possible. I can put it right over there. There should be a way. To Okay. Oh crap! What is that kind of madness? Okay. Well, local debounce equals to true. If debounce equals equals to true, then debounce equals to false. Gain the replicated storage dot spawn present return colon fire server. Wait, uh, one, 
no, 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 no. Wait, ten. Debounce because it's true. Delete this line. Oh, nice, my presents are lost. If you find them, I'll give you money for each present. And then I'm gonna get a leg strike. Am I not gonna? The problem is, they're getting spawn. Um. Spawn duplicated. And that is not possible. Well, I guess we're gonna put more debounces over here. Um, and debounce equals the true. Local debounce equals the true. If debounce equals equals the true, then debounce equals the false. And then wait five. Present laws, we find yep, yep, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now it works perfectly. So, I'm going to a touch part. Uh, this is the wrong touch part. So, you want to remove the script in two of them. Two. Then over here, we do this, but um, we touched the part, but we're not firing anything back. And of course, we're gonna add a debounce, because else this is gonna go horribly wrong. We just experienced. If debounce equals x to true, then end. Local debounce equals to true. Debounce equals to false. Wait. One game, no, uh, correction and debounce equals to true. In your leader stats over here, you want to type game that replicated storage dot present found return. Yep. Dot on client event, uh, server event, call connect to the function of nothing. Um, player dot leader stats dot money dot value is equals to player dot leader stats dot money dot value plus 10. Gonna to, we're gonna get the player uh, 10 money. And if they touch them, of course, uh, debounce, local debounce, equals to true. If debounce, equals, equals to true, then space, tab, tab, end. Debounce, equals to false. So the script, like deactivate script, uh, like debounce, equals to true. Like that. Um, yeah, wait at one, but if you touch the part, mm, yeah, you can do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot present one colon destroy, like that, you wanna, Copy this, and instead of this touch part, script, duplicate. Oh, crap. And then, instead of present 1, you want to do present 2. Over here, script, paste, present 3. So, this should work. Close everything up. Three present goes into server storage and play. Okay, boom. Oh no, my presents are lost. If you find them, I will give you money for each of the presents. And then, boom. If we touch them, boom, 20 money because of the DD bounce. Oh, or did they spawn in two of them? Local debounce equals to true. If debounce equals, equals to true, then debounce equals to false. Wait at 0.5. Debounce equals to true.
copy this line, delete it, and put it right in here. Oh no, it's my prints are lost, feather, blah blah blah. Gonna wait, blah blah blah. Okay, and boom, 20 money. That's a glitch. Has to be. If we We get 20 money for each of them. Probably spawn in two. But that's fine. So there's one thing left. You wanna copy this. Touch part two. Drag it away. Gonna put it right over here. I'm gonna make it blue. Inside of the script, we can do um maybe something like this, but game the replicated storage dot shop clone fire server correction fire client flare. We're going to replicated storage, duplicate an event, shop. Now you wanna do a tricky tricky dicky um, I want to make a new GUI. Shop GUI. Right, remove everything in the local script. Boom. Text label gone. Frame yes. Anchor point zero point five comma zero point five. Position zero. <clears throat> 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. That's perfectly in the middle. 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.35 comma 0. That's it. That's something. I'm gonna make it green. Of course, why not? It's Christmas, you know. Merry Christmas. Anyways, then when I get text button, and what you can do is 0 0.5 comma 0. Point Other way around. 0 0.2. 0. Point zero dot anyways um uh, 0. 0.2 comma 0 comma 0. 0.2 comma uh, 5 comma 0 sorry and then anchor point 0. 0.5 comma 0. 0.5 and then instead of 5 you want to make an 8 you want to make it a little bit bluish and then uh, purchase 30 coins Uh, and if you want, you're going to add a text label instead of the frame. Anchor point 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Position 0 0.2 comma 0 0.5. Blah, blah, blah. Size 400. Correction uh, 200 by 150. And then you can put the position at 35. Fifty more walk speed, cause we are Christmas. Cool. Mhm. Mm wanna go? Um. Wanna make a another text button? You wanna put it right up in the corner? I'm not gonna mess with the values right now, cause I am a bit tired of that. So wanna make it like that? Oh. What? That should be good. And then uh, X, 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 local script, 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 the parent, the uh, mouse button, one click, on the connect function, nothing, script, the parent, dot frame, script, the parent, the parent, dot frame, the parent, dot frame, then, visible, equals to false. Oh, script dot parent dot parent dot okay sorry that's my mistake anyways you want to make it red of course and then in the you want to name this one x and and just buy over here game the replicated storage don't shop dot on client event color connect a function um nothing 
script.parent.parent.frame script.parent.frame of course visible equals to true so we can test this out right now frame off play here okay Yeah, definitely a glitch. We got over a hundred money now. Well, anyways, if we go over here, boom, click away. Okay. Well, anyways, now we want to make a purchase button. So we want to add in a local script. Script dot parent dot mass button one click color connects function player um f player then. Um, uh, would it do something simple like game the replicator storage dot walk speed colon fire server? Mm hmm. You want to go into replicator storage walk speed. I'm gonna make a new remote event walk speed. Go to your leader stats. Copy this. Paste it down below. Instead of found present return, you want to type walk speed. I'm gonna remove this. Um. Over here, player dot character added colon connect function char. Copy these lines. Paste it right in here. Then char dot humanoid dot walk speed is equals to sixty. No sixteen plus fifty sixty six. Huh. And player dot leader stats dot money value is equals to player dot leader stats. That money that value minus 30 because you're gonna remove 30 coins play here oh no it's not prince of law but what okay there purchase doesn't work That should work. Oh, and by the way, your leader stats. If player dot leader stats dot money dot value is higher than thirty, then end. Cause oh, else you're gonna get into minus, and you don't want that. Let's just start. Yep, we cannot buy it. I believe we cannot still buy it if we get the presents. Oh, we do! Yes, it works! Yes! The everything works! Oh, yes, it works. No errors, and it works. I did not imagine this would work. Bud. Whoa, fire will calm down. Script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible is the false. That's just a glitch. 
And you can hide these presents anywhere in your map or whatever you want. And boom, purchase, and we can run really fast now. So this idea is by RJ. Um, yeah, credits to him for the idea. I was planning thing, other thing, other well, other thingies, but in the end, it reached out like this. So um, Merry Christmas! And if this video is gonna help you out with your like thingies, there's one thing I really want to do, and that is in, instead of setting it to sixty six. Player uh, character dot humanoid dot walk speed plus fifty, so every you can buy it multiple times. And I know this video has been so long; it's already half an hour. Like, oh my! Okay, and then boom. We can walk faster, we get more money, and we can walk even faster, more faster, and more faster, and one more time, more faster. And it does not work, it, 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 it does not let me purchase. But okay, we can go so fast now. This is really good for simulators, but if you really enjoyed this video, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I'm really happy, um, yeah, so Merry Christmas! If you did not subscribe yet, do that right now. Like the video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out!